And here's where we face our integrity that we are going to do what we said we're going to do. Very simple, but it's so hard for humanity to, to, to follow through. We are going to try to live, like they say, walk your talk. And so many times we make a commitment, vows of marriage, to finish school, etc. And, and then, you know, sometimes it gets good, sometimes it doesn't. Here is where we will make the, a higher spiritual self-covenant to our world, to the spirit of our creation, and all of our relations, you know, that we are going to start making the changes so that our world will be nourished, that our world, we will stop the, the destruction and, this, this, you know, stop the madness that is going on. And so this commitment makes the intention official to fulfill a change in our lives, and it takes us to the rites of passages, the ceremonies. And that's kind of where uh, we do, why we do a whole bunch of ceremonies. And we go in and do, do, do in and door out to the mesa and uh, the medicines, you know, to, to connect back to, that, to those vows, you know, to connect back to ourselves and to what is going to be uh, a sacred work that we will fulfill with our lives in this world. After this commitment, it's going to take us to the gathering, preparing the sacred bundle. March 16th on 7 Toch. Yeah, kind of like the Toch is like, uh, what are we going to exchange for this bundle? You know, to receive a bundle, we're going to have to do something for it. And when we do something for it, the bundle is going to give us something in return. That's what we, the we, the Maya, and others, the indigenous, we said Toch. We come from a place of, uh, of sharing, you know, of, of uh, great um, uh, uh, generosity. So this, this gathering is like what we need to manifest and crystallize our visions. Each one of us has dreams and aspirations and we want to train ourselves so that we can manifest something in our lives, make a good living for our families, you know, make a difference to our relations. And like we, in the beginning, it was like we find out like, whoa, you know, I don't live in a place that I would like to create, so let's change it. And so as we realize how our world is and what is happening to our lives, then deep contemplation will be required to consider the appropriate and alternative tools for the type of manifestation we want to accomplish. If you want to plant a garden, what tools do we need? If you want to fix your car, a good set of pliers and a wrench is going to do the good job. Of course, there are also very incredible spiritual elemental and, dim and dimensional tools. How do we connect with the multidimensional universe? How do we hold uh, ourselves in the, al uh, the alternative reality where we can still be functional? So there's certain tools we have, you know, that uh, maybe humanity has forgotten, and that's why we don't respect the trees or the rocks or the water or anything. You know, so these tools are going to help us to understand how to crystallize our visions so that when we, at the end of the day, we says, yeah, look, we manifested that. And people that, you know, many of you have been with me for many years, and, you know, we didn't have anything. We were just, you know, and, and before that, you know, coming from the, a war-torn country, very poor, being uh, immigrants here in the United States, and to see what we were taking care of today, is because we, you know, crystallizing the visions that the spiritual is continues to show us. Sometimes they, you say, okay, we got to do this, and maybe some humans say, well, you know, it's too much to do, and uh, that's not going to work. You know, says, well, uh, okay, I have to listen to the spirituals, because that's what they're saying. You know, so I have to gather the bundles. I, we have to gather the people of the world. We have to gather the medicine. We got to gather and choose the seeds so we, when we plant the gardens, there will be, you know, great abundance and, and, and a great harvest, you know, time for celebration. So after we have gathered the medicines we need for the ceremonies, to gather the tools, and we're just getting ready, then we, we go to the presentation, to the sixth week. This will be on March 23, Hunakmak. Here's where uh, setting up the mesa. So many people say, well, I set the table every day. You know, we eat on the table, and, and this is a different mesa. <laughs> you know, this is the, the mesa that uh, we remember, Hunachmak, and Hunachmak is the children. 
you know, how are we going to present ourselves to one, the divine? How are we going to present these bundles when we're ready to give the inheritance to the next generation? Are we going to give them a dirty bundle, you know, a bundle with problems and, and war and chaos? And they said, no, we want to give them a beautiful bundle. Here's the seeds that will secure your life for the next generation, we're going to tell them. See these trees? We planted them when we were young. And now harvest those, those nice fruits, but then take some of those and plant them for the next generation. We'll have a nice orchard. So the presentation, we will look at how to present ourselves, our activities and our deeds in a beautiful, loving, clean, and orderly way. Clean meaning our minds are clean, our bodies are clean. You know, we present ourselves with our with that love, grace, and gratitude, and reverence to what we're doing. So in our presentation, it will reflect the knowledge and the caring of the items chosen for the best outcome. This process brings us to the integrity of the fullness of who we are, presenting our fullest capacity to perform our best in everything we do. Be the best you can be, they say, join the army, you know, no, <laughs> just kidding, you know. The presentation reflects our intentions to show our respect, our reverence, our feelings of love and appreciation to our world, to the spiritual worlds, and to all our relations that we are going to be presenting. You know, the remembering how we prepare ourselves for the first date, you know, with our sweetheart. Man, I have my best tie and my best suit, and I even combed my hair that day. You know, I took a shower, you know, make sure that she, you know, she's, oh, this guy's pretty clean, you know. And so, and I'm sure the, the, the lady, boy, she got all painted up, you know, best shoes and so forth, you know. So remembering that time when we went to, you know, maybe for our first, you know, first presentation to a teacher, so we didn't want to go all ragged it out and says, I want to learn, you know. No, I want to present myself with dignity, even though maybe we're poor and, and there's nothing fancy, but we, we have integrity in that. So this is where, uh, this is what I have, and, uh, and this is what I am, is what I know, and this is what I have to, this is what I have brought, you know, to you, and this is what I can do, all in the truthful. Some people say, I can, we can paint your, your pretty garden, you know, build your nice pyramid, you know, but then when it starts working, they get tired even before they, you know, they start working. So we know that... Uh, you know, the, the presentation was a fad, you know, a sham, you know, too many masks. So in the sacred rites of passage, in the medicines, in the healings, this will, uh, the ego will be you know, stripped down, you know, taken down. And, and uh, so we want to see the truthful self. I see I am simple and I am humble and, you know, but I'm willing to do what it takes. I'm here present. You know, that's the rule number one. Just kind of be present. So in this presentation, it'll take us to the, after we present it, we want to activate it. This is the sacred intention, March 30th on Eida Kabbal. Eida Kabbal is the completion of the unknown coming into enlightenment. This is where the great teachers of the Maya, like, uh, like, um, Nan, uh, I'll bring the name soon enough. Anyway, he wears the Akabal, Itzamna. Great Lord Itzamna, he, ho he holds the, the symbol of Akabal, which is the great wisdom. When we were ignorant, when we were in the dark, when we didn't know, uh, Itzamna, the, the one who sourced the, 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 the essence of the universe, has the knowledge to teach us. So here's where... Uh, bringing in the spiritual essence in all that we do. Here's where we will look at what is going to take to bring the spiritual spark into all that we are. Mm -hmm. We also come to the place where we lay all of our physical down and we request the spiritual guidance. We request that vision. 